What an amazing month it has been, friends. I have seen maybe 30 films throughout the month of November, not one of which was Interstellar. Not because I don't want to see Interstellar. Yeah, we had a flow fragment. <laughs> but I've just seen so many films all over the world. And let me tell you, what a great year this has been. What a great couple of years this has been. To be a film buff! Film is continuing to mature. Filmmakers are continuing to mature, and we, as film goers, are maturing with them. Yeah, we had a flat. There has been so many films I've seen that have treated their audience with such respect, and treated the subject matter both with tenderness and at times, when needed, blunt force. Blunt force. One great example is Israel's submission for the 2015 Oscars. Get the trial of Vivian Amselem. It is the third feature by the sibling duo Shlomi and Ronette Elkabetz. Ronette, of course, stars in the film as she does the three films. I mean, the films are independent completely. I mean, it's not a, they're, they're not sequel. I mean, you don't have to see one film to, to understand the other ones. This one follows a woman through five grueling years as she tries to divorce her husband. It is a painstaking process and is a clear commentary on the state of Israel, the way it views its women and how difficult it is to get out of a loveless marriage. It will frustrate you. And if you feel frustrated or impatient, then the film is doing its job. Only the husband can can determine what the verdict will be, but he's the defendant. So, I mean, we knew we were dealing with the circus, you know. We allowed ourselves to, not to make jokes, but to use, like, black humor in the film, you know. And again, not to make the, the, the characters ridiculous, but yes, the situation is ridiculous. And we kind of hope that in between the humor parts of the film and the, and the dramatic parts of the film, we can create a space uh, where the audience can really listen while being frustrated for Vivian. Speaking to Shlobi Elkabetz was an absolute delight. He's excited as well as the rest of us that his film is actually getting things done. What a tremendous achievement for any artist. People talk about the film on the news every day. Every day it's on the news, it's on the papers, it's in the radio for almost eight weeks now. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's never, uh, I mean, there's not even one day that you would open the paper or hear the news and people would not talk about the film in the sense of the need for alternative. We, the, the need to change the law that doesn't give women like Vivian the, 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 the opportunity or the ability to, to live if they want to live. The film and the public watching it kind of forced the rabbinical court to take a stand. This is something that never happened, and that's like, this is huge. These people never went to cinema. So, actually we have first stage that we have to pass, and this is one, uh, it's gonna be this like one main rabbi that's gonna watch the film alone and approve it. So there's no, uh, you know, any, uh, there has to be a decent film, meaning you have no uh, naked scenes or stuff like this, so the rabbis could see it. And after we will approve it, he will say it's a kosher film, the film will be screened to all the judges, and then something very interesting is going to happen, I think. What a great achievement. What a good film. Is this film for everybody? Oh my god, absolutely not. You couldn't show it to someone who's really anxious to see action. We don't leave the courtroom. We get to observe every single imperfection in the room. We observe the characters until we are so familiar with them that they're like people that we know forever and can't stand anymore. And no one can stand each other. You as the viewer become one of the characters. You're right there in the courtroom dealing with everything she does. It never resorts to any Hollywood standard or any Hollywood cliche. We never see Ronette or the character Vivian in her kitchen throwing glass around and getting angry or losing her mind. Watch my full interview with Shlomi Elkabetz right here. Hey, hey, ha <laughs> ha. I'll see you next time. Yeah, we had a flower fragment. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had.